All right, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so let's imagine that uh, you got a mesh and you decide you want a stroke and you're frustrated because you can't figure out how to do it. Well, that's a little tricky. What you want to do is you want to go into a, your appearance tab and you want to deselect your object and set the stroke right here to two pixels or whatever you want them to be, two points. Change the color. Then you click and you drag it and it will assign it to that object. I don't know why, but for some reason that's the only way to assign a stroke once you have changed an object into a mesh. So there we go. I'm already, I'm already about done. I'd probably want to put a few more lines on here. Um, do I still haven't done the sleeves. I Yeah, there's a few more things I could do, but it's, it's looking like a jacket. Now, I want to take us over here to... Um, to the, the ones I found on, on Reddit the other day. They clearly do not use meshes. Let me show you the method that they are using so that you guys can uh, see another alternative way of doing it if you don't want to do meshes. Now, I think for a shoe, the mesh is a good idea. But there is definitely another option, and let me show that to you in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this... Uh, I'll just find an easy one. I'll just go ahead and take this... Um, this denim jacket and I'm gonna do a quick trace of it and I'm gonna show you how you can uh, add those shapes those shadings in a different way so let me pause the video and do that real quick all right so bear with me I'm not gonna I didn't take the time to make any of the lines and uh, I also didn't do that part right there so but what I do want to just kind of show you how you could do some shading without using mesh and it's it's pretty simple actually. Basically, all you do is you take an area that you want to shade. So, for example, um, I'm gonna go ahead and create this line right here. Oops, from here to here, and just kind of curve it. And that's that's to be that line right there. So let's put that in. Okay. And now I want to make this little area right there. It's it's really as simple as this. You simply either trace it or create your own, whatever you think would be a good shade I gotta zoom in here uh, let's try this but basically yeah you're just putting an object on top of it and um, I can show you a way to soften it up a little bit so again I'm clicking to oops clicking on this anchor point to remove the next line go here I think you pretty much gotta try to match the curves the other one um, there won't be a uh, stroke on it so that's a little easier let me pull the opacity down so I can see through it I'm gonna go about oops click back on this to select it go about to here and I want to just try to match that as much as possible okay so now I'll pull the opacity back up <clears throat> and then I, I have this object which is the same color as the background so assuming I'm making a gray jacket instead of this denim color I would probably want to make this go a little bit darker and I just take it and I stick it as close to on top of there as possible now because my lines weren't perfect before this is a pretty tricky enterprise you're gonna to have to take the time to uh, um, yeah I should have been a little bit more careful on this one but I basically just take the time to match all your edges uh, and one of the way, easiest ways to do that is just to touch them together. They'll snap together like that. It'll just lock. But you will have to play around with your handles and get them to, um, you know, which is something I hate to do. But, yeah, that's close enough. So let's go, let's go ahead and say that that's what we wanted. But let's say we wanted a little softer, um, sort of how the mesh tool would give it, get it to us. What we're going to want to do is uh, select the object using the selection tool, not the direct selection tool. Go to Effect, Stylize, and Feather, and then you can preview how much of a feather it's going to give. You, Depending on how big your image is, this is going to be completely up to you. But look at the difference. Let me go back in my history. Where's my history? I guess there's no history in this program. Okay, so I'll just Control z before, and Shift-Ctrl-Z, after control Z before shift control Z after it's a little softer 
Let's say, for example, though, that you did want to have this and you have problems with your stroke right there and you have areas like that. There's one thing you could do. I can think of a workaround. I would take my original object and have no stroke. I would duplicate it. And with the one on top, I would only give it a stroke. So let's just, I'll make it black so you can see it very clearly. And so all this is is a stroke outline. I would put it on top of, and let me make this black too so you can see. Okay, I'm gonna put it on top of this object. So I go to my layers, and I have my just stroke jacket and my just jacket jacket colored in. I take the stroke one and I put it on top of the shaded thing I just made. And now you'll see it'll go. the stroke will go above the outline um, of this thing. So I can take the points of this now and stick it there. This one, I can stick it as long as it goes behind that. It's fine. You'll notice it goes a little, it's coming out a little bit here. What to do then is hold down the uh, pen tool, hit the add anchor points, add an anchor point on that line. And now you can move it individually. There we go. This one, probably need to add one more point. Let me just click here, use the direct selection tool, and using the arrow keys, there we go, and I've got to play around with the handles. It looks like i got some weird thing going on with some of my handles here. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. Um, this line also needs to go above this object, which I don't think right now it is doing. So layers are going to become important in this process, so I'll just switch those. And I have a, a fill on it. I just got to get rid of that. So I just change this to that. All right, let's take a look. Yep, not bad. Um, I guess I missed the object here. Not bad. So that's another way to do it. I'll, I'll give it a, a, a feather. Okay, so there's lots of ways to go about this. At this point in the game, you know, you're starting to become an expert. There's different ways of doing things you find the one that works for you and um, get creative do your own logos your own colors and I'll I'll leave you guys with this if you want to create your own design of clothing it doesn't even have to be one that you're going off of a photo um, you can completely create your own dress or your own shoe or whatever don't even have to look at anything just from your imagination I would recommend you sketch it out first on paper um, and that's that. And if you do finish one, come up with another one that's kind of using the same. Imagine you have a clothing line and you're mul making multiple objects. So um, if you do finish before everyone else, that's what your assignment is to do. You're not done until I get back. All right. See you guys soon.